They finally put a line out for this game. Celtics hosting the Knicks, and the Celtics are one-point home favorites. The over-under is at 214. The Knicks are minus 104 on the money line, and the Celtics are minus 112. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip-off tomorrow. Now, they've played each other four times to start the year, and the Celtics have won all four games. 108-104 in New York, 114-98 in Boston, 133-123 in Boston, and then 116-102 in New York. Now, as far as this game, it isn't really meaningful for either one of these teams. Both of these teams have clinched a playoff spot, and I think the, the Knicks, you know, they can shuffle between three and four if they start losing. They can even probably move up to two. So it might be a little bit more meaningful for the Knicks than it is for the Celtics. The Celtics, no one's catching them. Head-to-head, <sighs> -head, the Celtics are six and four. They're on a four-game winning streak. The home team is five and five. The favorite is one and covered the last three. The favorite is five, four, and one against the spread. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The over-under is five and five, and the over-under at 214 is also five and five. Now, for me, the biggest thing for this game is going to be the lineup. It's supposed to be Brunson, DiVincenzo, Anobi, Hart, and Hartenstein. So the Knicks look like they're going with their normal rotation. And then Holiday, White, Brown, Tatum, and Porzingis. Holiday, Brown, Tatum, Porzingis are all listed as questionable either for rest or for something. So that's probably why this line is so low because they're anticipating the Celtics not playing anyone. The Knicks are 6-4 and four again. overall. They're 7-3 and three against the spread. The over is 8-2 in their last 10. 229, 208, 231, and then 245. Beating the Kings by 11, losing by 8 to the Bulls, beating the Bucks by 13, and then beating the Bulls by 11 once again. The Celtics are 7-3 in their last 10, 4-5-1 and one against the spread. The over is 7-3. 235, 201, 231, and 195. And if they learned anything from what happened with the Bucks, they may not play these players just because they don't want to chance them getting hurt before they get to the playoffs. Beating the Thunder by 35, beating the Kings by 1, beating the Blazers by 17, and then losing by 13 to the Bucks. I'll take a shot with this one with the Knicks. I'll take the Knicks with the money line, the Knicks getting the points. And I'll go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly. Don't forget to join the Discord. The link is in my bio.